everybody, welcome back. Well, early voting for the June 4th primary in Doniana County actually starts tomorrow and throughout the week here on the KFOX 14 Morning News. We're going to have the candidates who are running for district attorney. Yes, and joining us this morning for our community conversation is Ramona Martinez. Thank you so much for making the drive and being here with us this morning. Yes, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. All right, well, tell us a little bit about yourself, about your background and why you're choosing to run for the seat. Yes, so I am a native New Mexican and I am the what I consider the heart of New Mexico. I am currently on the front lines of the um, of what is happening right now in Doniana County. I'm a, cr a criminal defense attorney. I've been a criminal defense attorney for the past 10 years and I'm in the courtroom every day seeing what's going on with um, with the district attorney's office and our in our county. And if you were elected Ramona, what would your top priorities in office be? Well, first of all, um, we need to get that office fully staffed. It is right now, it's completely understaffed and cases are being dismissed. There's not enough um, felony attorneys to be handling the cases that they, we have. We're the second largest uh, county in New Mexico and we don't nearly have enough felony attorneys to handle the number of cases, so that's number one. Um, number two is to start addressing those root causes of crime, mental health. Um, homelessness that are are big issues in Doniana County right now. And that's something that we kind of want to expand on a little bit more. How do you plan on going about prosecuting the crime that you just touched on? It is plaguing the city right now. What are some of those prioritized things that you want to do as far as the crime that you will you would intend to prosecute? Right. So what I tell people all the time is, you, you know, we can't we can't lock up all our problems. Um, these are lower level crimes, so these aren't life sentences. So um, repeat offenders are definitely going to be coming back into our community. So how do we address that? It's number one, connecting them with services and diversion programs. Um, collaborating with community stakeholders to ensure that we bring all our resources together to put, to um, create these diversion programs. Um, and not only that, the bigger thing is being a voice for Doniana County up at the at state legislature in Santa Fe. Um, because we need somebody who's going to be advocating and legislating for the services that we desperately need in Doniana County, specifically behavioral health services. Absolutely. And, you know, you just mentioned um, the dismissal of cases. Let's talk a little bit more about that. How would you prioritize which ones that your office would seek to prosecute? So first and foremost, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, it's the, the you, you want to triage your cases, number one. You want to make sure that the most serious violent crimes are being prosecuted and all your resources are going to that. But number two, again, it's creating diversion programs, either pre or post prosecution, and then making sure that we are keeping statistics, demographics, because, and then engaging with the community to make sure that we're hearing what's going on with the community. Because right now, I think there's a lack of communication with the community. And unless you know what's going on with, with the, the county, then how, as a leader, you're, you don't know, you know how to proceed forward unless you're getting that feedback. And I think dismissal of cases is also something that sends a message to victims and victims' families of maybe their case wasn't big enough, doesn't matter, wasn't serious enough, right? Well, I also um, represent victims of crime, and I will tell you that I'm horrified of what they have to go through right now. They have to go, I mean, they've gone through, I have clients that have gone through eight or nine different prosecutors, and if you're having to tell your story to eight or nine different prosecutors, it's very traumatizing going through what you went through and then having to tell somebody eight or nine different times that same story. It's, it's very traumatic. Mm -hmm. And so you want to ensure that they are being listened to and heard and their rights are being protected. But that's, again, making sure that you have a fully staffed office. Yes. Ramona, thank you so much for being here with us today. We really do appreciate it. If you're just joining us or if you want to check out the full interview, we're going to go ahead and post this on our website at kfoxtv.com. Yes, we'll be right back after the break.